This is the spiral water pipe used to discharge and transport drinking water. Its service life in the ground is generally more than 100 years. First, the worker uses an uncoiler to unroll the coiled steel plate and use the roller to push the steel plate flat. Then use the fixed support arm to squeeze the steel plate between the rollers until the exact diameter is reached. Simultaneously, the system will automatically form it into a helical tube within the track. Then an automatic welding machine will weld the seams of the steel plates. These are the copper-coated steel wires that will be used in the welding process. When the internal welding of the spiral tube is completed, another welder cuts and welds. On the outside of the pipe, the plasma torch will melt the steel pipe and cut it flat into a 15-meter long spiral water pipe with a diameter of 1.8 meters. Then, the welded water pipes are rolled to the next work area. Here, workers will polish the ends of the water pipes to trim the profile. Then the water pipe is sent to the die. The machine will flatten one end of the pipe, so that it can join with another narrow amorphous pipe. Fill water at both ends of the water supply pipe, and keep it under high pressure. At the same time, check whether there is any water leakage on the pipe wall. After that, workers will install rubber rings on both ends of the water pipe. Next, put a long sprinkler with a nozzle in the cement holder. The nozzle will apply cement to the inner wall of the pipe. When the water pipe rotates, it can generate a centrifugal force equivalent to 70 times the force of gravity, so that the cement is evenly distributed on the inner wall of the water pipe. It also separates the water from the cement, then use the blower to discharge the water air. Then workers put plastic sheets over both ends of the pipe, press down with a magnet, wrap the plastic sheet tightly with an elastic band, then inject hot steam into the water pipe. And after 18 hours, the cement will be cured by steam. This slow step, make the structure of cement better. After the cement is completely cured, the worker removes the rubber ring. In this way, the spiral water pipe has a very strong lining. The water pipes will L then be transferred to the shot blasting chamber. Inside the alloy steel will bombard the outside of the water pipe and clean it up. Immediately, spray liquid adhesive on the surface of the water pipe with a spray head. Then wrap the pipe surface with polyethylene tape. Wrap three layers of tape. The first layer is anti-corrosion protection for the spiral water pipe. The other two layers are the tape used to protect the first layer. To make the outer layer of the spiral pipe stronger, wrapped triple layer tape will be painted in different colors for easy distinguishing. In this way, the degree of damage to the water pipe can be visually seen. Finally, these fabricated spiral water pipes are ready to be laid.